level of looking positive. But if people are unhappy, then you will have happy statistics and unhappy people. One. Two. Um, I've heard all the analysts say here that subsidy has been removed. No, the truth is that subsidy has been reduced. If the subsidy is removed, then the price of EMS, as you see today, will be much higher than what it is. Now, having said that, three is that policy reform is not the same thing as institutional reform. What you are seeing today because of all of these things on the Internet is that the institutions that actually implement policies in Nigeria are rotten, and that you need to reform those institutions all the way from administration of justice to taxes to monetary policy. All of those institutions need to be reformed so that there will, there will be no impunity. Four is that you cannot do partial equilibrium analysis. In other words, you cannot fix the interest rate and leave the exchange rate alone. You cannot fix a petroleum uh, subsidy and leave debt alone. So it has to be a comprehensive package. Here everything is looked at at the same time. And then you begin to go to where general equilibrium. Four is that the people are the owners of the country. The leaders are the servants of the country. So we need to change that mindset so that everybody knows that you have to hold the feet of policymakers and politicians to the fire. I think we've seen, we've seen a lot of that in the last few days. The, anybody who is in position of authority now knows that he serves the people. Now, the truth is that also I heard something about minimum wage review. It's been said that a subsidy has not been removed. I remember the NLC chairman talking about a, oh, that they are planning to make the fuel price 1,000 naira. Before now, I think around last year, the NPC was telling us that, say, oh, in the recent, if they really want to go about this whole thing, that the fuel should be selling for 500, 600 naira. And some people say, no, it's not possible. E I was telling one of my friends that that was what I heard from a NMPC as at last year. So not until this year all of a sudden when tinubu said the era of subsidy is over which everybody was expecting to take effect from july yes everybody was expecting the effect uh to take place in july he just started it and the supporters came out oh yes he just said it that, that, that was what was on ground he just said it it's not as if it's going to take effect immediately the second day that was when these guys rolled out their prizes and he didn't say anything all of those who are not who are not defending in that uh, he just said what buari has already done just to make sure that people are aware not that it's going to take effect but immediately it took effect till today nobody said anything mm. and meanwhile when they came on board in 2015 they were telling us that uh, they were removing before because from a uh, 90 or 70 something there uh, liter per, uh, per, per liter they took it to 120. People were shouting, yeah, yeah, yeah. Before you could say Jack Robbins, it was 150. They said they were removing it gradually. That was what we told. They were, were told that they have removed it. They removed it in part before it got to 200 to something. Now, it's now 600. Yeah, what this uh, uh, real one, Bismarck, or what does he call himself? That it has not been re removed. It was only reduced, but now they say it is gone. They will come back again. They will come back again those of them who are shouting they say me look on you are shouting up and down ah let us just suffer small and uh, we are going to repeat like seriously just like uh, the way you are enjoying lagos the economy of lagos you are enjoying it the atmosphere the environment the standard of living is good for you so you want to do nigeria that you want to go? <laughs> i pity all of you unfortunately it's going to be affecting those who do not even support them that's by the wayside and this uh, uh this man who just spoke this a uh, real one or this man this man, I, I'm, I'm, I'm surprised that he's beginning to talk now. This man was always talking before, because don't forget that he's one of the economic uh, whatever team in Buhari's administration. He was not even, he was just an ordinary person, as in, he was just neutral. That's what I mean. He was not even given any position. He was always coming out to educate Nigerians on how the economy, on what and what, and what should be done, and what not should be done, what the government is doing that is right and what that is wrong. But all of a sudden, they gave him position. I say 
I've, I, I stopped hearing this man again. We are not hearing him again. Now that a Buari has left, oh, he's not even, he's not, he doesn't hold any portfolio. He's beginning to talk. He's telling us that it has not been removed. It has not been removed. It's only that they reduce it. You see, yes, sir. Mm. They just remove, they just remove it. They will begin to call it a, all, all those kind of nonsense, useless. Thing. And all these uh, unreasonable people who are supporting them, once they get to know it, they say, eh, 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 let us move, eh, it, it's going to be better. Oh, God, they ma. Oh, my God, they ma. Oh, my God, they ma. That is what you are going to be hearing because they are used to suffering and smiling. I was telling somebody who was trying to make an excuse and defend. I said, there's no problem. Mm, Nigerians are used to suffering and smiling, so there's no need to argue with anybody. What you see everybody see, may you carry you. Whatever you see, you make you carry. It will be by all those things. Make you carry. Make you carry. Make you carry. Mm. We, are, we, are, we are in it together. But I know those who are on the side of the truth, they will, they will surely make it. But if you are seeing wrong thing and you are trying to cover up, justify what is not, <laughs> you go hear them. Mm -hmm. You go hear them.